welcome back to The Pink Envelope. I am excited to be unboxing with you Bright Sellers. Bright Sellers is a wine subscription box that is new to my channel. So let me tell you a little bit about them. It is a monthly wine subscription that is $80 plus the cost of shipping. If you wanna give them a try, you can use my link below to sign up. It'll make your first box only $45 plus shipping. They didn't actually give me a coupon code, so you do have to grab that URL down below. Um, inside this box is one, two, three, four, five, six bottles of wine with a total retail value of $152. So there is a value in savings there. I did try to look up shipping, but it is varies based on where you are located. Bright Cellars is a monthly wine subscription that was founded by two MIT grads who wanted to help people discover wines that they love. And all you have to do is take a less than 30 second quiz and the algorithm will match you with the wines that are best for you. You can log in and rate the wines you receive and leave feedback. The more you interact, obviously, the better result you're supposed to get. That's all pretty stereotypical across all wine subscription boxes. I have a few more things on here that I really want to share with you because unlike what I normally do, normally I like introduce and show y'all everything and then drink the wine after. I did it differently this time. I actually drank half the wines in here before introducing you guys to the brand. So I had a little bit more to offer. So this is an introduction slash review of Bright Sellers. On top is this guy here, and it has the little note cards for each of the wines that are in the box. These note cards have the label on the front and then the information about the wine on the card. These are really cool. I have very much enjoyed these and they really helped me select which wines I was going to try based on what I was eating. So I drank the Meat Cute 2008 Zinfandel. I drank the Tetrachroma 2020 Pinot Noir. And I drank the Last Room 2019 Red Blend. I liked all of these. And I will tell you guys, there are two or three wine subscriptions I absolutely loathe. Do not like them, will not refer them. One of them, I literally poured the wines out. I can't even tell you a time I've done that in my life, except for that wine club. So I can say this one has a thumbs up so far with the three that I tried. All of the wines are great and they match my profile perfectly. The ones I have yet to try are the... And by the way, the labels are fabulous on these bottles and I love a wine with a good label. This guy is the Obscura 2016 Zinfandel. This guy is ugh, Lost City 2020 Malbec. And last but not least is the Folk and Fable Private Reserve Cabernet Sauvignon 2019. So, out of each of these, they have a card that tells you what goes with the wine. So let's pull the Obscura. Here it is. So this Obscura wine is a Zinfandel 2016, raspberries, strawberries, plum, and black pepper. It's a medium bodied red and it pairs well with blue cheese, Swedish meatballs, and watching the evening news. <laughs> and so what I did is what I do with all of my wines. I started digging, like, what is it about these wines? The Meat Cute, this guy, is supposed to retail for $24. The Last Room, is supposed to retail for $25. Obscura is supposed to retail for $24. Lost City, is that this guy? Yeah, $25. Folk and Fable, $30. Tetrachroma, $24 for a grand total of $152 that I only paid $80 for. I love the wine quiz. It was quick, it was easy, and it did produce wines that I like. My box also arrived really quickly. It was packed cutely. As you can see, everything arrived safe. Those are all big perks. You'd be surprised how that gets missed with other wine clubs. On their website, it says, they boast that they find unique and hidden gems from small vineyards all over the world. But all of my wines, when I individually look them up, had the exact same website template. All of them were cute and matched the branding, but it was the same website template for each one. And I was like, what, 
what is going on here? So I emailed them and said, hey, I have some question on how, how this works with you guys. And this is exactly what they said. Because everything we do is in-house. We design the labels, we create the brand names, and we source the wines. Our wines will all lead back to us, which is why the websites look similar. Once we source the grapes, we handle everything from there to ensure our wines are tailored to fit for what our members are looking for. So they are pulling in grapes from all over the world and they are creating the wines in house. They are not pulling the labels and then pushing them back out. And I feel like that's a really good piece of information depending on how you like to shop for wines. Some people love when one maker is using different grapes to create with and others don't like that, they feel limited by it. So that's a little background for you guys. Hey guys, so it is like 540. We're about to start cooking dinner and I was gonna open the bottle of Obscura and I convinced Jonathan to come in here with me to open it. She roped me in with alcohol. You're really willing and such a good sport when alcohol is involved. I do a lot for alcohol. So Obscura is a raspberry, strawberry, plum, black pepper wine. I noticed today there's a big variety in the alcohol percentages on these bottles, which I found fascinating. It says it's a medium bodied red served room temperature. It is good with mild blue cheese, Swedish meatballs, and watching the evening news. However, I will not be watching the evening news. Oh, the news is the worst. I will probably be watching uh, Outlander or Rain, because that's what I'm into <laughs> right now. But. We're gonna try this together. And then I noticed this after I got off with you guys. You can rate the wines and the bottom of this card tells you how. And it says, rate this wine, theme, theme back, feedback, fine tunes. Your future wine matches. Rate a wine within seven days to get double reward points. So they have a reward system and if you drink your wine, and review it. So like if you get six bottles, are you supposed to drink all six bottles in seven days so you don't lose rewards? Ooh. Challenge, <laughs> Challenge accepted. accepted. Okay. Uh, so, so tell me about this. This is a medium bodied red with raspberries, strawberries, plums, and black pepper. Mm, that's exactly what I was gonna say. It does smell very, very it, good. It feels, smells very fruity, very... That is great. I think that's great. Ooh, it very much finishes with the plum. Go again. I think it's great. That's great. Wow. Okay. You, you tried, did you try each of the other ones that we did? Uh -huh. the I first thought three? all of them have been great. I don't have the card with me, but one of them says you're supposed to drink it on a Monday. And by golly, we drank <laughs> we it, on drank it on a Monday. We drank it on a Monday. It made Monday just so it much better. It made Monday wonderful. We opened it. Because it said that's a Monday wine. That was great. But out of all of those, I think this is my favorite. This is, well, I like Ziffindels. I think Ziffindels are we really do good like because they're, they're more deep tape flavors and stuff that I think you, you like. I like, yeah. But it's very flavorful. Um, it's not uh, like just one flavor. It's... Yes, yes, it does roll. Okay, yay. Thank you for doing this. Absolutely. Okay, guys. I want to show you each of these wines, the bottle of wine, the information card about the wine that includes the price, and then where I went and researched each one of these wines according to a third party app. So I use the Vivino app to rate each one of these and here are the scores according to Vivino users. Okay, first we have Folk and Fable, the private reserve Cab Sav. I very rarely get wines under $30 with a 4.0 rating. Typically the highest I see is a 3.5. So this one has extraordinarily good ratings. I cannot wait to try this one. I'm actually saving it for a special date night. The Lost City Malbec is a great example of what I typically see. 25 to $30, 3.5 rating, which I think is great. Meet Cute Cab Sav, Great rating at 3.9. This is only rated 94 times. Um, I personally had this wine and thought it was good. The Obscura Zinfandel, I am literally drinking while I'm filming this with you guys. Um, it is very good. A 3.5 with 76 ratings is a good, pretty stereotypical rating. Next up is the Tetrachroma Pinot Nero. It's got 3.2 rating at 67 reviews. The Last Room Red Blend. This one's a great one. 3.9 and 286 people have rated it. I hope that searching these independent 
ratings and scores helps you guys get an outside perspective on the bottles that they are sending and it's helpful for you guys. And so if you wanna give them a try, the introductory offer is amazing. You can get the six bottles for $45 plus shipping. That is a great deal and a great way to see if the quiz you take produces the wines that you love. They have a great satisfaction guarantee that I haven't mentioned. If you drink the wine and you don't like it, you can get a replacement bottle of wine in your next box. All in all, I say if you are a wine drinker, give this one a try. Maybe in my next box, I'll, I'll ask for some whites to pop up so I can try some whites. If you have tried Bright Cellars before, Tell us below. Tell us what your thoughts were, maybe which wines you love the most. Give us some feedback. I would love to know for my second box if there's something I should be asking for. Um, and I love our shared experiences. When we all lean in together, we can help each one of us find the subscription box that is best for us to help us save time and money, which is what this is all about. Okay guys, I hope that you have an amazing day. Subscribe to my channel so that I can see you again later. Bye y'all.